Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in Noir York City, where things are ominous as ever. Pretty sure I need to climb this ladder, but since I'm supposed to be following those signs, it's a Mirror Peak Bar, and that one's way over there, I have no idea if I'm even taking the right path anymore. Shout out to Justin Jones. He says, that is an interesting question. When did developers begin to consistently include the sounds of clothing slash armor to games? Footstep sounds have been around forever, but they didn't start to become more sophisticated until the 90s. That was one of my many complaints with Doom 3's audio design. Quieter in here. The use of the same footsteps... The use of the same footstep sounds, no matter where you were within the game's environment. Oh, and the audio assets for many of the weapons were underwhelming, the plasma rifle being an exception. I have heard similar complaints about, uh... I think it was the original Silent Hill, like, considered a masterpiece... But it's kind of distracting when your footsteps always sound like you're stepping on stone, even if you're on wood, grass, gravel, or, uh... Fuck, I don't know, glass? <laughs> Maybe metal. Metal's a good one. Also, shout out to Derek Floyd, who says, Now that you have that upgrade, specifically referring to, uh... Oh, fuck, I don't remember what it was called! Saga's upgrade to, uh, give her health every time she kills someone with a shotgun. Uh, now you'll know for sure if you've downed an enemy with a shotgun if you regain health. Similar to how you know that a necromorph is dead if it drops an item. That's a good callback. It's been a long time since I thought about that. And finally, shout out to Duffelfish, who says, I feel I must apologize for the previous startling comments by saying that this is a charming video about Saga leaving, leading a charmed life, who pets mooseheads as a good luck charm as she goes around collecting various charms for her charming young daughter. Oh, and to answer a quest, a, uh, a mechanical question Justin had about uh, the charms, I can't. Well, I guess it wouldn't matter if I could demonstrate it here because you couldn't see it. But um, yeah, there are three slots in a uh, separate charm bracelet inventory just next to her regular inventory that can only hold charms. I believe the idea is you put the three in there, and they have their effects on you. you I started with the Logan one that increases her max health. Which I suppose might have something to do with, uh, why Alan feels like he takes more damage. I mean, yeah, there's a blinky door right there. I just wanted to take, uh, take a look around. Oh, hey, cooler. I was expecting that to be a trap. I hear... Tim again. What are those? Shotgun ammo! I was hoping Alan would get a shotgun of his own. This paint is chipped and faded. But it's still light paint, so I'm gonna go over here and take a peek. I have to go back, though, because there's a door I'm looking for. Oh. Word of gun found. Ah, I have that. Sunny skies increases flare gun projectiles area of effect by 25%. I don't actually have the shotgun yet, so I don't want to increase its knockback force until I know what it's like. In the never ending night, diving deep to the surface. You're not an item at all, you're a flower pot. That line stuck with me, incidentally diving deep to the surface. 
Okay, if I go through here without doing anything, this door goes to... Another roof. No! It closed, and I don't know if it leads to the same place anymore. I don't even know where I am. I could see the Ocean View Hotel. I was getting close. Wait, then what if I change the thing up there? Let's assume it's the same damn area. Okay, yeah, what happens if I do this? Wait a minute. It changes where the door goes! Great! It's blue on the inside right now. Red with the door already being ajar here. Oh. And there's bullets here. Okay, they won't let me crawl into just any one of these uh, little tents made of cardboard. Oh boy, this seems like a good idea. Let's descend into the red area. Lights affected where the door led to. Oh, I was in the right... I was following the right path. The echo is closer, but I don't see anything associated with it. And there is a word of power just here. Word of lamp found. All right, restores main attraction. Restores 50 health for each second when using flashlight boost on hostile shadows. Which is a weird way to word that, given that it doesn't work by uh, simply holding down the button as long as you want anymore. Can I change it on this side? No. And I can't climb down from here. see the dark dot for the uh, the echo there. Okay, then I will try running back up the red stairs and changing... Okay, first, change it back to blue. Then, head down the blue stairs and change it on this side, which I noticed I could also do. actually changed there. Wait! Okay, still blue inside. Oh! Oh, it takes away this water tower with the word of power on it. Oh, I see! It's a wa in this one, there's a water tower. And in this one, there's a fucking staircase coming down from the area on the other end of the red room. Thankfully, I have a bunch of charges. Take that. I feel clever. I'm not going to use that right here because that would be stupid. I would be in the middle of the water tower. Surge of energy just knocked over a garbage can and sent everything in it flying in straight up. Oh. Right. surge of energy associated with a shadow who ran away with an animation that looked like he was simply walking, but at about 400% speed? That's a very horror movie move. Fuck me, I was 
very nearly in that wall. I am in the wall. Then it moves me to where I'm not going to die. Interesting. Look at that! This roof is part of the Ocean View Hotel. This must be where people smoke. Ah, this must be the lounge. Yes, over here, the rooftop lounge. Try our new Ocean View cocktail. I need to go in, but obviously I'm going to look over here. Diving deep to the surface, as if the surface is below the dark place and not above. It's probably both, since it looks like we're diving down into the puddle to reach the other player when we switched. Oh, that door is boarded up in such a way that makes me think it's about to fly open as I walk over there. Okay, I was really hoping it was going to be a slippery light. Gun. Oh shit! Yeah, there's just a gun straight up mounted on the wall. This is somebody's office or something. No, now it's a bar. I see. I see. This is just a boarded up part of the bar, yes. But the door is open now. In fact, the door is gone now. That's kind of weird, but whatever. Let's see. Bar menu. Manhattan, $20. Lake on the Rocks, $20 to $50. Uh, shotgun, $19. Negroni. $20.50. Ocean View Cocktail, $25.50. Old Fashioned, $22. Bucks. Gin Twist, $25. Bucks. Oh, yes, I see. The shotgun is gone now. That's pleasant music. Yeah, I have to stand in here and close myself in because the shotgun the is in here. Caught my eye. I can't interact with this. I can look at it. Is this just to get me standing directly underneath the thing? Hello, shotgun. Wait. Oh! God damn it. Yeah, it's I got a no on it right now. Inven full. Oh. Oh, I'm going to have to Tetris this, I see. Move the health kit over there. Move this over here. Shotgun ammo. And move the... No, 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 no. Don't use the, ex uh, the rare uh, first aid kit. Move and put it up there. So that's four spaces. That should be surely enough. I thought it was going to be something like, I have to find $22 and put it on the counter to get the shotgun. Treasure chest. I didn't hit any buttons, for that record. That, just, that box just decided to open, and it doesn't even have a prompt on it. This one does. More ammo and more pills. Good, good, good. More batteries. Excellent. All right, let's grab the shoddy. Achievement unlocked. Yippee ki yay! Ooh, this is not a sawed off. Ooh, yeah, four spaces wide. My inventory's full. Double barreled shotgun. Break action shotgun. Rapidly fires two single shots with tight pellet spread. I need to ditch some of this crap. Because right now, I am 100% full. Oh, and the door has fucking got a bench in front of it on this side. Someone really didn't want anyone to get in. Cold beer. Ama watery. No, 
new shotgun still on the list? I think I will leave that. Watch this technically be sequence breaking like I walk over those. Oh! Oh my god. I forgot to uh put that on the list. Yeah, that'll do it. Flashbacks to Doom 3 myself and finding Kelly. Which is what I called the shotgun game. Oh, good. Speed shadows. Speed shadows with knives. This is exactly what I needed in my life. Ooh! That's right with the other shotgun, anyway. Oh, God. Okay, I should probably mention there, Justin, that this guy used his speed to run the fuck into me, knock me on the ground, and start trying to stab me in the face while straddling me. At which point, I used a uh, one of the road flares to... Well, I lit it and, sh and shoved it right into his face and got the achievement, Escape Its Gravity. Use a hand flare to escape an enemy... Well, it says grap, but I assume that it keeps going and says grapple. Oh, yeah, skip Kaye, find the double-barreled shotgun all his life. Complete chapter, we sing. This is the moment. Dodge at the last minute to avoid an enemy. I remember that with a slow-motion uh, dodge. Interesting. Now I need to find me a save point. Oh. Oh, right, that's like a million miles away as far as the universe is concerned. There really shouldn't be uh, homeless tents up on the rooftop lounge of this expensive hotel, but whatever. Oh. Apparently I got turned around. Ah. I suspect that those guys have been showing up for a little while now. I just didn't see them because they're really fucking fast. And I wasn't looking in the right direction when I got there. I see. A four-digit code. That's got to be one of the prices on the bar. And you caught my eye and all that. Ocean View Cocktail, Lake on the Rocks. I'm gonna try the Ocean View Cocktail, 2550. I really hope there's a save point right inside, because this is the last episode of the session. What does that say? Oh, try our new uh, Ocean View Cocktail, yes. Probably right then. Bingo! Enter the mystery caller's room. Well, it's a hotel, all right. Baggage carts and stuff. Questions? Call 555-652-190. I don't think that's how phone numbers work. Then again, I've never been to New York. There's a club I got myself killed trying to get to. I think it says the Eternity Club, which feels like irony. 
I know this view, this angle. I've been down there. It's just, I can't remember seeing this overhead bridge. Mind you, everything above about five stories just kind of fades into the dark. You can see the outlines of buildings. The Dark Place Ocean View Hotel. And there's a framed picture of a man in an old-timey diving suit here. That's probably a real-life photo, but the, uh, the, the imagery is, uh not subtle. In fact, all of these paintings are the guy in the, or sort of pictures, are the guy in the diving suit. What's it with speakers? I was expecting it to be locked and someone to start taunting me through the speakers, be, to be perfectly honest. Oh, fuck, I've just remembered. Ah. Uh, gotta go back the other way because I thought I saw an angle on the, uh, the echo while I was out there. With the bar area, I mean. I was, uh, more concerned with the guy who was trying to murder me at that moment, though. There's the dot, yeah, so if I go up here... Ah, oh, there's the timer. There's the rub! Let's get this so it doesn't stick out as much. A dream of calling it quits. Hmm? Making a clean break. Retiring. Escaping. Leaving all this sordid misery and terror behind. Getting in a car and driving till you see the sunrise. Somewhere where the sun still rises. Settling down, buying a house. Fixing it up, building a life. Finding someone. It's a fool's dream. It would all go bad. And having let hope in, it would be unbearably worse than this. You can take the man out of the city. But you can never take the city out of the man. Uh, Justin, in order to activate that echo, I had to look directly at a billboard for Final Casey. There are no happy endings. That does not feel like a coincidence. Actually, the other one is also in front of a Casey movie poster. Oop, and I missed the suitcase! So oh, hey, it's not a waste of time. Even if I hadn't found that. I can add those to my inventory. I was just stacking onto the shit I already had. That's pretty good. You know what? Maybe I will take the light with me. I feel like I should mention that, uh... I haven't played Max Payne 2, but Max Payne 1 opens with Max as a happy, you know, smiling man who's uh, trying to quit smoking for his family. And then he goes home just in time to not save his wife and infant uh, child from being murdered by junkies. You can believe in getting out. But I feel like that was the point of the speech. There are no happy endings. And then the game skips to a year later, and he's this cynical, broken man who, uh, apparently drinks very heavily and has continued smoking. Oh, there's room 665. 664. And what do you know? This area is blocked off. I can't get to the next rooms. Hmm. Weird! 
665 key. Okay, this episode ran kind of long, so I'm going to cut it off right here. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake 2, when we uh, find out exactly what awaits us in room 665. Till then, have yourselves a great day, and stay in the light.